Today I'm doing a video about the Stampede. Uh, just a quick video about um, what I'm going to do is upgrade the tires on this. Now if you look right now, I have the stock um, Talon tires on these. I really don't like these tires. I've had these forever. They're, they're wobbly. They're I think I re-glued them so they're not that great. Um, on the front, I had these Duratrax uh, six-pack tires. These are pretty good. The reason why I had them on the front instead of the back is because one of the um, the inside stripped out uh, where the hex goes into it, and so um, you can't use them on the back because it just spins. But on the front, it seemed to work okay. Uh, now I had just some, bought some different tires. I bought these for the uh, Stampede to run them on. These are belted tires. So I thought they'd be better. Problem is, is they're smaller than the stock ones. And I drove this thing uh, one or two times with these on, and in tall grass, it got stuck. And with these Talon tires, this car rarely ever got stuck in any kind of grass or anything like that. So it was actually worse with these smaller tires. So, And they're not only just smaller that way, they're, they're more narrow. So they don't have nearly as much grip as these Talons, even though I never really liked them too much. These ones were really good. Uh, I had these on the Rustler. But like I said, once the heck stripped out, I couldn't use them anymore for the back. So what I decided to do is get these tires, uh, part 6792. These are uh, Traxxas sledge tires, sledgehammer tires. And this is 3778. And was, two of these are the front and two of these are the back. They're exactly the same except the, um, the inset, or off, I think it's inset or offset, I'm not sure what it's called. It's different. Uh, the reason why I got those is because down here is my Max, and the Max has these sledgehammer tires, and these things grip excellent. I love them. They work really good. They do balloon up a little bit. Uh, this is four-wheel drive, so front and back do balloon up a little bit when you're going full speed, but most of the time, they're perfectly fine. So I thought if I got some sledgehammer tires for the uh, Stampede, they're going to work really well, or it's going to have really good traction. Now, these are a little bit bigger. I'm going to take one out and show you. Okay, so here's it side by side between the Talon tire. As you can see, it's definitely taller. As far as width wise, it's about the same, uh, almost exactly the same. So it is a little bit taller, so I'm going to need to gear it down a little bit more. Um, to do that, I have some parts. This is a 90 tooth uh, spur gear. I don't know what's in it right now. I have changed the spur gear before, so I'm going to have to see what's in there currently. Uh, I also have lower pinion gears. I have a, uh, a 16 tooth and I also have a 14 tooth right here. That seems pretty low compared to what's on it right now. I think it has a 19 tooth pinion gear, so I'll probably go with the 16 and see how it goes. I did buy a temp gauge uh, to monitor how hot it gets. I've never had one before. I've had this car forever and never monitored the temperature. I was just touching with my fingers when it feels really hot, then I would... Um, turn it off but one more upgrade i'm going to do on this thing is these are high um these are higher powered i don't know upgraded drive shafts now the drive shafts on the stampede they're kind of small i already upgraded one there is the stock one right there there you can see it in the light i already upgraded this side as you can see they're a lot thicker so I think I think these were made for the Revo originally. I'm not sure which is uh, higher power than than the uh, Stampede. So I think with this, I already have this one installed on this side. I'm going to install this one on this side. Maybe change the gears, put these tires on. I think it's going to look great. This is a new body. I did add some decals to it, so I think it looks kind of cool. Here's the difference in the size of the stocks um, drive shaft, and there's the upgraded one. Part number for this is 6852A. As you can see, it's thicker. Not only just the, that part, but also this part here. That's where a lot of times these things stretch out. It's hard to see, but after you drive it for so much, you can see it, the hole gets bigger. It just stretches out some. Uh, this one is thicker, so hopefully that'll keep that from happening. Especially with a better grip on the better tires here. For the gearing on with, with this chart that comes with the, the manual I got, um, I'm not, it, this is for the... Bandit, Rustler, and the, and the uh, Stampede VXL. And what I had before was 1986. So the 19 tooth. I'm trying to make this. Uh, hang on. I 
All right, so if you look at 19, uh, two, that's the pinion, and then 86 is a spur gear. That gives you a ratio of 12.32. Um, that, I think, was, was maybe the stock. I'm not sure I had the 90 or the 86 spur gear in there. I thought I had the 90 in there, but it was the 86. And so I was thought about just going down to the 90 tooth spur gear, leave the 19 tooth pinion in, but that only changed it from 12.32 to 12.98. So I decided to change the pinion gear to the 16 and leave the 86 spur gear. So at, at 16 tooth and then 86, that comes out to the 14.63. So that's a higher number, a higher ratio. So I think that should make it cool enough. We'll see how it goes. And I do have the a thermometer to check the gauge temperature. So there's a stampede with the sledgehammer tires. I think it looks great with these things on there. The traction feels really good on these. Uh, definitely looks bigger than the stock uh, Stampede tires and much bigger than those uh, other ones I bought before. So these are nice and big. They have great traction. I haven't got to drive it yet. That will be the next step. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm looking forward to driving this. I think it's going to be drive really good. As you can see, back here I have the steel bar. I have that as the uh, wheelie bar. The wheelie bar that comes with this is a, I don't know, I, I didn't like it at all because it always falls apart. But this is a solid steel bar. That thing has been on there forever, hasn't bent yet. So with this traction, is going to need the wheelie bar for sure. So I wanted to get a skid plate on top of the roof here because on the other one I had, the other stampede body, the roof got really scratched up pretty badly. And so um, I could have did a couple things there. I have ordered an RPM one for my slash. I could have put that on there. I think it would look pretty good. But I really like the look of this one. This is for a Rustler 4x4. It didn't fit on there perfectly because uh, it was a little bit too long back here. And then this round, this part came out more over the front of it over here. So I filed or sanded that down uh, so that's straight across in the front. And then I just sanded this the back parts down too as well. Then I had to bore a hole. I got a whole reamer for this body, and then I put four holes in it, and then uh, used some, the screws that came with it, and I, in order to make, it was a little bit too long, the screws, so I just put a nut and then a washer to keep it from pouring through there, and I think it looks pretty good. Now, the last thing I'm going to put on here is an RPM bumper for the back of the stampede. It's going to go back here by my massive uh, wheelie bar. So I'm going to install this RPM bumper on the back. This stampede is finished. I've got everything ready to go. As you can see, i got the uh, skid plate on the roof up there. On the back, I have the RPM bumper. That's pretty sturdy. That should protect the back of the body pretty well. So right now, stampede is ready to run. The only thing I might do is if it's when I found when it's on its roof, it can slide and maybe scratch that up. So I might put the RPM skid plate on the very back there. I'm not sure. But other than that, the only thing left to do with this thing is take it outside and have some fun.